Hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. I am working on my 12 paper clips of 2019 and I actually got behind so although I have December's done I need to go back and do November's theme which is pumpkins. I was looking through my stash and I realized I don't have anything that I can use and I really thought that I did. Let me move this back in frame here hopefully as well as can be seen. And so I was looking in Silhouette uh, Design Store. This is the image that I have in my, um, that I have paid for in the store. It's called Fall Buttons by Michelle Renee. Uh, and the design ID is, for, ID is 43620. And I want this pumpkin here. And so I have it moved over onto my new mat, which is eight and a half by 11 because that's the size of my cardstock. I'm noticing these holes are not even. You can see what I mean, how there's a lot of space between these two and not between those two. Um, but uh, what I want is, is a smaller pumpkin anyway. And so this is 2.267 or so. I want to come over here and grab this here, which is the transform panel. I'm going to select this with scale and I'm going to lock this here so that the dimensions, the ratio of height and width remain the same. I think one inch will be enough for me. So I'm going to put one there and then tab so it adjusts the height automatically and select apply. Okay, so now what you see is it's a good size for me, but it's so small that I can hardly see what I'm doing. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, now I really think that these holes are too close together. Plus I'm thinking maybe um, that uh, I might just want two holes for what I'm doing because it's such a small design. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, click and drag and highlight that and fill it in with this color thing so you can see what I'm talking about. See, those are holes right now, right? But if I only want two holes, I'm going to zoom back in here again. I can fill this in. I'm going to come over here and select to draw a square. And I'm just going to do that over here so I can see about how much uh, I need, what size wise. So I have that square. I'm going to fill that in orange so I can see. I'm going to drag it over the top here going to highlight the two of them, right click and select to weld them together. And now you see there are no holes in there, but I still want to put holes in there. So I'm going to come back here again, click the ellipse. And if I hold the shift button while dragging, then I will get a perfect circle. The size isn't too particularly important to me right now, but I can enlarge it a little bit. I just want two, so I'm going to click, it's clicked, I'm going to right click and say duplicate. Now I'm going to put these as far apart as I want. I didn't like how close the other ones were together. Let's just do that. But I noticed they're a little wonky, so I'm going to come down here again to that transform panel. And I'm going to align them both up across the bottom and then right click and I'm going to group them so that they move together. Now it's going to be hard to see these red circles over my pumpkin. So I think I might change the lines to black just so I can see it. And I think I need to make the line a little more intense, uh, not that intense, <laughs> just so that I can see them. Okay. I need to figure out where I want that. And I think if I come back to the transform panel again, and do this, which aligns it into the center. I can make sure there's equal distance from here to there and from here to there. So I think that would work for me. Now I want to punch those holes through here. So I'm going to come down to this panel, which is the modify and select divide. Okay, now if I drag this off, it leaves these holes behind, but I have my nice pumpkin here. I'm going to highlight and delete those. Now I'm going to come back out here now what I want to do all of this was so that I can take this and make duplicates of this and glue them all together out of cardstock and make a rather thick pumpkin. So I think I'm not actually going to do it uh, print and cut. I'm just going to change this back to the regular color here or no color. And I'm going to run this through my uh, Cameo 
and cut that out. So I need to make two paper clips, but I need to make several layers of this cardstock. So I can take this and highlight it, collect object, and I can say replicate. And if I come down here, I can say fill page. Now what that does, it fills the page, but I always find that it, it makes, uh, I, you can usually fit more in here than it requires. So I'm trying to think one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six per button is fine. And then I've got two buttons, but what I could do, let's get rid of one hole. I'm highlighting those and clicking to delete those. And I could cut up extras and just make buttons ahead. So I think that would work out. But if you're familiar with the, let me erase this bottom one to highlight, right click, delete. If you're familiar with the Cameo, it doesn't like you putting things so close to the edge of the paper. Oops, that was an accident. I'm going to hit undo. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of these and just move them toward the center of the paper. So now I'm going to put orange cardstock into my uh, Cameo and I will tell this to send. I will select cardstock plain. It tells me my blade needs to be at three and my force at 20 because it already shows that it's highlighted and will cut. So it says unavailable, but I will connect it and cut my paper now and we'll see you there. Okay, so that cut completely out. Got a whole sheet of them. Let's pick a couple of these and we will play around. This is kind of a cool sheet itself, isn't it? That's really cute. Okay, so what I said was I wanted to glue um, six of these together. Now this one didn't quite get cut well, so let's fix that. Okay, there's six there. We'll try that and see what that looks like. I want to make sure these are facing the right way because the little stem there, I have to make sure I'm getting them all going the same way. Okay. That's getting nice and strong. So this is three and it's pretty strong. So when I said six of these, that was just a guess. It's getting nice and strong. So that's four. And that's five. I'm thinking that by doing six, it's going to look more like a, a wooden piece instead of paper. Oh, that's really cute. Now I could, um, color that stem in brown. Actually, I'm thinking I'm not going to do that because I just like the way it looks now. But I think what I will do though is to use the triple thick brilliant brush on gloss glaze and give that a nice shiny coat. I think what I'll do is I'll put this on, let it dry, give it another coat. I'm going to let that dry and I'll rinse my brush out and I will give it another coat or two and I will come back with an update. Okay, so that has two or three coats on it. I really like how thick this is. It looks like it's cardboard or something really thick. Now I have my uh, paperclip blanked here. I will give you a link down below to my entire paperclip art series and you can see that I have many other ways of embellishing paperclips. I also have this, which is a foam glitter leaf that I picked up from Michael's at one of their grab bags they had. It is a sticker. It's not going to be strong enough of an adhesive, so I will also have to add some glue to that. I also have some, oh, this is bias tape that I got from a thrift store and I thought I would add that and just kind of get some fall colors going here 
and use the Better Ultimate Adhesive here. Okay, I'm just going to fill that in. I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. I don't always wait the 30 seconds, which I know you're supposed to. Flip that over. There we go. All right, so I'm going to add that there. And like I said, this is going to need a little extra help. So I'm going to put that there and let it set for 30 seconds and then glue that on. And then whatever is left of this adhesive sticking out, I will add um, some baby powder to it so it doesn't stick to everything in my journal. And then we're going to add the pumpkin here. Just remember to let this set before playing with it. I'm going to set this down and let that um, firm up and set for about an hour. Okay, so that's been sitting long enough, but I think what I want to do next is use some of these micro round uh, fall buttons that are in my shop. You can see how tiny, tiny, tiny these are. Very tiny. These are like for using for dolls clothes almost. They are so minute. I think I will use this Julet glue and because it always comes out too fast for me, case in point, <laughs> I'm going to use a toothpick. I'm going to do it in the bottom right corner. Uh, I'm going to put three of them in there. I'll use a brown one. A dark brown. I'll use the three different browns or there's actually three. There's this one too, but I think I'm going to go with the dark green here. There we go. Now that really helps to balance it out. Very cute. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you look at the links down below, which will include a link to the Paperclip Art Group on Facebook in which we have these challenges.